Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today 9 to the x minus 6 to the x equal to 4 to the x and I hope you will enjoy my solution to this interesting problem. So what, how can we solve this interesting problem? So first of all there, there are a lot of solutions to this problem. So first one is maybe you everyone take a look on both sides but I want to show you a really interesting approach. So first of all let's divide both sides by this 4 to the power x. It will be really great because we have like 9 to the x over 4 to the x minus 6 to the x over 4 to the x equal to 4 to the x over 4 to the x. So we just divide both sides by 4 to the x, so nothing changed for us. But if you look closely to this division, so 4 to the x over 4 to the x, this is equal to 1, so we can easily cancel this. Yeah, so we will have this, this expression. But right now, if you know a little bit about uh, power rules, about, about uh, properties, we will have this situation, a to the power n over b to the power n equal to a over b all raised to the power n. And let's apply this rule right here in this case and right here in this case, because this is our situation, different base, but same exponent. Okay, okay, let's do this. We will have like 9 over 4 to the power x minus 6 over 4 to the power x equal to 1. Yeah, so we can easily write it in this way. And right now, if we look closely, okay, 6 over 4, we can easily cancel this by 2, so we'll have like 3 half, so let's write it. So we have like 9 over 4 to the power x minus 3 half to the power x equal to 1, yeah? So we have this expression right here. Okay, 9 over 4 and 3 half. If we look closely to this, we can easily write this 9 as 3 square. So let's do this, let's write it. This 9 as 3 square, so 3 square, and our 4 as 2 square, yeah? And all raised to the power x minus 3 half to the power x equal to equal to 1. As you can see, this is good expression, this is good, but right here we have a little bit difficulties with this, so how can we rewrite this question? Let's go back to this to this uh, rule right here, because we have different bases, but same exponent, so we can write it as 3 half all squared, okay? So let's do this, let's write it as 3 half squared and raised to the power x, and minus 3 half to the power x equal to 1. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step right here. Okay, what we're going to do next? We need to know a really interesting rule and really, really important rule, rule of interchange right here, because we can easily express this a to the power m to the power n as, as a product, a to the power m times n, and moreover, as a to the power n to the power m, because this is a product, so we can easily swap these these two elements right here and right here. And in our case, let's swap this x and this two. Okay, let's do this. Because if we, when we swap this, we will have the really interesting case. We will have like 3 half to the power x squared, yeah, squared, minus 3 half to the power x equal to equal to 1. Yeah, okay, we have this expression. And what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. 3 half to the power x and 3 half to the power x. This is really great because we can easily substitute this 3 half to the power x. So 3 half to the power x, we can easily write it, let's write it as, for example, doesn't matter, let's write it as, for example, let's write it as u, yeah? We will have like u square minus u equal to 1. So u square minus u equal to 1, yeah? This quadratic quadratic equation, we can easily solve it. We all know how can we solve this quadratic equation. Because from here, our u will be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac and all over 2a. So our formula to this interesting question, to this interesting quadratic equation, and let's find it. Let's find this root right here because we all know that a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1, and c equal to minus 1 because we bring this one on to the left hand side. Okay, okay. Let's plug in all of this element. So we will have like u equal to minus b minus minus 1 plus minus b square minus 4ac, so minus 1 square plus 4 times 1 times 1 and all over all over 2, 2a two equal to 2, okay? Okay, let's find our u right here, so our u will be equal to 1 
plus minus 1 plus 4 square root of 5 over over 2. So this is this is our u. This is our u. I try to get a little bit better focus. Yeah, yeah, a little bit better. Okay, let's go next. We, we find our u, so u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and u equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So we have two cases uh, with, with this u. The first one we have with the plus and the second one with the minus. Let's start with the minus because we have like 3 half to the power x equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, yeah? But if you look closely to it, this one is positive 1 and this one is negative 1. If you're talking about the value of this expression, this is exponential equation which is always positive, this is like 1 minus square root of 5 is negative, so negative over, over positive, this is negative, yeah? So no solution, no real roots right here, maybe complex one, but we find real roots, no real roots right here. Okay, let's go to this one, we have this expression, we have the plus, Let's solve this, so 3 half to the power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2, okay? Let's try to solve it. How can you solve it? Let's take log on both sides. If we take log on both sides, we will have like log right here, base of 3 half and log right here with base of 3 half, yeah? Then this x jump right here in the beginning. So we have like x times log 3 half base of 3 half, so base of 3 half right here, and equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and this base 3 half, okay? So if you know a little bit about log, this one we can easily cancel because this is equal to, this is equal to 1, yeah? So we can easily cancel, so from here our x will be equal to log right here base 3 half and 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2, okay? Okay, we have right here a really interesting formula. If you know to, if we need to get the same base, we need to write it as a fraction. So this one is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and all over log 3 half, yeah? So if you know a little bit about log, we can easily write it as a fraction. This one goes to our numerator with this log, doesn't matter what a base, maybe 10, yeah, let's go with 10 right here, and log 3 half in our denominator, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's find this expression. Right here in our numerator we have a fraction, so we can write it as log 1 plus square root of 5 minus log 2 and all over log 3 minus log log 2. If you want to simplify this a little bit, we can we can simplify this in this way. Equal to, let's try to solve it, let's try to find uh, the exact value of this of this x. If you, if you take a calculator right here real quick, our, your x will be equal to approximately equal to 1.186. This is approximately answer to this problem. But this is a solution, if you're talking about algebraically solution, this is algebraically solution to this problem log 1 plus square root of 5, you can easily write it as a multiplication, but I don't want to simplify this more. We have this expression, we have this approximately answer right here real quick. And let's go back one minute span to, to get better, better our knowledge right here. So first of all, this rule, we go with uh, common parentheses right here in both cases. Second step, we need to create a like quadratic equation or same basis, which is more important yeah, than quadratic equation. If you get the same basis as right here, 3 half to the power x and 3 half to the power x, we can easily write a substitution. And then you see like, you know, in my case, I have a quadratic equation. Maybe you'll have like cube equation, like linear equation. So I have quadratic equation two cases with u, the first one does not have a solution because this is negative, this is positive, maybe complex one, yeah, you can easily write it in down in a comment about this case, about this negative case. This one, positive one, does have a solution, yeah, because we have a real number root, 1.186, and this is our algebraic solution to this, algebraic solution to this problem. Really interesting question, I really hope you, you understand this, explanation, but if you still have any question, write a question in the comment section, I try to help everyone. Thank you for your time, have a great day, 
I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. If you want to support me, you can leave a like below the video. I really appreciate it and it helps me to improve my videos, get better and better. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. See you in the next videos.